All right, folks, first fish. Beautiful one. Largemouth bass. First fish of the year. Just got my new rod and reel. I mean, the hell, the fucking fish is about bigger than the fucking rod and reel is. I caught that motherfucker in that little ass fucking tiny. I mean, that's a lot of food right there. I'm not going to eat them. I'm going to let them go. Uh, only because I had like a pizza today and stuff. But I, I just wanted to, I mean, I, I just wanted to come out here and see if I could catch something. I had some bites. And then, um, yeah, I finally got this motherfucker. I didn't even, I wasn't even 100% sure there was large mouth in here. I'm going to say, uh. I'm going to say two pounds, two and a half pounds, two and a half, I think. That's a, uh, that's a lot of meat, a lot of meat. That would be good fried up. A lot of people don't eat largemouth. They say it's a sport fish. All right. So, uh, a lot of people don't eat it. I've eaten largemouth and it's delicious. It's, it's not, you know, some people don't eat it just because they're told that they're not supposed to, like, the, especially rednecks. They feel like, uh, it's a sport fish and you're not supposed to eat them for some reason. They're delicious. Promise you. Uh, that would have been delicious. I already ate today. I don't need food. Um, and... I feel like I can catch those all day long out here. That's my protein. Really, all I've got with me is carbs. I got flour. I've got spaghetti. I've got ramen noodles. I got oil too. I got oil, vegetable oil. And uh, the only thing I don't have is protein. But uh, this canal is slammed full of protein. Honestly, it wasn't as easy as I thought it was gonna be. Um, I've been out here. It probably took me 30, 30 minutes, 40 minutes to catch that thing. I had a few bites. Um, I caught him. <clears throat> and maybe I just, you know, I caught him on this little uh, super fluke. Uh, boom. It's a watermelon seed super fluke. You want this color, watermelon seed. There's variations. There's red watermelon seed. There's baby bass color, which is very similar. But I'm telling you, the watermelon seed, I've caught in fish in Michigan and now very South Florida, Kansas. Um, it, it, it works. Um, so I'm excited. Caught a nice, that was a beautiful bass there. It was a fight, too, because... You know, once again, he's almost bigger than my little ass rod and reel here. I bought this rod for $17 at Walmart. So it shows you don't need to spend. I mean, I see people buying bass boats and $500 rods and reels and uh, fish finding equipment and, uh, you know, spending tens of thousands of dollars on bass fishing for the love of God. Seventeen dollars, you know the pack of these uh, soft plastics is like three bucks. You need a bullet head weight, which is like a dollar for a pack, and then you need <clears throat> one of these hooks, and it's just a Texas rig. Um, I always go for the one aught hooks. Yeah, I don't think you want anything bigger. Well, for uh my little rod and reel and stuff. I don't, I, I probably, I don't know if I can catch a 10 pound. I probably could catch a 10 pounder with this, but it would be really hard. But you want these hooks that's got that little, just like that. It looks like that. Uh, it's got that little notch. And then you want to rig it Texas style. And I didn't lose my tackle. I could, usually on one of these, I can catch like six fish for every one of these. 
and they probably co co cost like 20 cents each. So for 20 cents, I get 20, like six fish um, for 20 cents out here. Um, and that's a hell of a fucking bargain. And I could survive on that, you know? And that shit's going to be delicious when I... Um, to, like tomorrow, I'm not going to be letting that motherfucker go. I'm going to be cooking it. I mean, I could have saved it somehow. Maybe uh, string it up and saved it. I kind of think if I string it up, it'd probably be gone in the morning because of all the gators in here. Um, and I just feel like I can catch them fresh. I almost feel like you're kind of torturing the fish in a way when you string them up and leave them there overnight. Um, also, I could use them as cut bait and try to do some catfishing or something. Um, but I just let them go. I just I was actually just fucking around. I just got this rod and reel today at Walmart for 17 bucks. Um, I didn't even change the string. I have uh, some nice uh, high quality string, but actually that string's pretty damn good. Um, by the way, this rod and reel is a, um, it's called Doc Demon Deluxe made by Zepco. Um, I just like the fact that it's small like that. And, uh, which, you know, for somebody who travels, that's what I need. Um, something on the smaller side and then catching big fish with it. You just need to know what you're doing. You need to know how to, uh, how to reel them in. You know, you, you don't want to, you know, you want to let them play with it. You want to wear them out a little bit, you know, basically. Um, and you can catch nice, that was a beautiful bass right there. I'm excited. So I think I'm good on the fishing for today. And I just wanted, uh, at first I was getting a little bit uh, worried. I'm like, what the hell, you know? I had had a couple bites, but I wasn't getting much else. I started off with a bubblegum trick worm, and I got a couple bites on that. And then I switched over to uh, the watermelon seed super fluke. And uh, I think I'll catch them on both. But, uh, yeah, I mean, two and a half pound bass is probably... a at least a pound and a half of just straight meat. A pound and a half of meat. I mean, that's a good day supply. I could do that if it takes me 30, 40 minutes a day to catch me one of those, and I'm good on protein for the day. And then I can just go into town and get flour and oil, which are super fucking cheap. And I could live out here for probably years like that. You know, if I really wanted. I, I mean, I'm sure I won't, but... Uh, so... And uh, that's it. All right, folks. Peace.